Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Shantae Marie here, and I am a military lifestyle vlogger here on YouTube. Thank you guys so, so much for clicking on this video. If you guys have not already, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to thumbs up this video to see more content like this. I really appreciate each and every one of you, and also make sure you leave me a comment in the comments below. Today we're gonna be discussing the Alpha Elite launch, the newest leggings that I picked up from their most recent launch. This happened Sunday the 11th, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's when it was. And I tried to purchase more than one pair of leggings. I also tried to purchase a bra and I ended up only getting one pair of leggings and the one bra that I ordered. I was gonna order more and I'm honestly so happy that I did not try to because there was so much drama with this launch, it wasn't even funny. And I only say that because like anytime that I feel like my money is being messed with, like that's not okay and the prices for Alpha Elite clothing have went up. Nobody really t seems to talk about that here on YouTube, but when I originally started buying the Alpha Elite leggings, they were $52 a pair and they are $59 now. Like when I got ready to check out, I was like, I don't remember them being this much money. Then when you add on that there's issues with the website and the customer service and even the leggings, I feel like $59 is pretty steep unless like you're coming correct. So I freaking love Christian. I've been following his fitness journey and his YouTube channel for a really long time. And I feel like I tried to be like a loyal subscriber, I guess. It just really sucked that this launch went the way that it did. So I received my package. Um, let's see how many days. I ordered the leggings on the 11th and I ended up receiving them yesterday on the 16th after I got off of work. So that is a little bit longer than usual, but they did say on all of their social media and whatnot that they're in the process of moving to another warehouse. So it was expected for it to be a little bit delayed. My package came in the typical Alpha Elite bag. The packaging that it comes in is like this. The bras like always come in this white bag and it's smaller than the leggings and the leggings always come in this one. Um, I can honestly say that I respect the fact that they take this much effort and care into their packaging feels really like legitimate and it's not just coming in a plastic bag. So the first item that I ordered was the wrap around bra and I ordered that in this green color. First of all the bra, same fit as usual. I don't have any problems. So they actually did call it forest green. Um, this color is like my spirit color right now. I love this color and I am a size large. I really wanted to bring you guys reviews of their products because I have so many Alpha Elite products. I started ordering Alpha Elite products when they were on like the V2 version of the leggings. So that's been quite a while now. I've ordered every single launch since then. So. I always order a large in their leggings simply because they are very compression. Honestly, this bra, I could probably go down to a medium, but these bras are very boobalicious, and if I ever was to wear this in the gym to work out, um, I would not want the bra to be a medium because that would just be a little excessive. All right, so the leggings ended up looking like this. I will say that one thing that kind of is like, not frustrating, but I notice it as someone who's purchased multiple times. The Alpha Elite Instagram page, none of the photos on there are like realistic images of the colors of anything that you buy. Like the color is always kind of drastically a different color. And for people who are new to ordering, I'm not sure that they really notice that. Um, and even in their try-on hauls, I feel like the color is not true. It's one thing for it to look a little bit different like on the screen and everything, but it looks very, very different. And I feel like this is picking up perfectly, even the bra did with my lighting right now, but this is clearly has like little stripes of gray throughout it and the bra does not. So these are clearly two different colors. I don't care, but like some people probably care. So 
that's a realistic, <laughs> this is exactly what this looks like in real life is what it's picking up on on my screen right now. So first look, realistic color. I think it's beautiful. So the other thing that I noticed about this pair of leggings, and you can see it right now, but the T, the E, the H, there's just some things going on with the font on these leggings. They're like, it almost looks like an animal went and like scratched out the white font on these leggings. I don't know why it's like that. None of my other pairs, I have four other pairs of their leggings and none of my other pairs are like that. Once again, this doesn't bother me, but when you're paying $59 for a pair of leggings, it's a little bit, like, come correct. This should not have been sent to a customer who's paying $59. Like, I could go buy leggings from Nike or Under Armour or whatever for $59, and since this is a smaller company than one of those type of companies, I mean, that might frustrate people. It, I love the style of these leggings. Much situation with customer service was so shitty that like I'm honestly not gonna even bother to complain. I just wanted this color. But come correct, people are paying $59 for these. So the waistband. You can kind of tell right now that there's something strange going on with the stitching. When I put these on, one side of the waistband actually still like has this weird situation going on with the stitching. I don't know why that is. The situation that I'm seeing with the leggings is actually on this side right here. It's just doing something, there's just something weird going on. Like you can see it right here. There's something odd happening with this waistband. I don't understand. There was like a lighter gray color that they were gonna come out with over the summer. And every single girl who tried them on, which I follow a lot of their like affiliates, and I watch multiple people just to see like the different opinions on what's going on. And there was a pair that were doing this and they chose not to launch them because they didn't know what was going on. So like, I'm a little bit shocked that this color even made the cut to get released, simply because $59, you went up in price from the 52 that they used to be, and the waistband is clearly messed up. Um, like I said, I'm not at the gym to look cute for anyone, but like, this is the type of thing to make me like really think twice about spending $59 on a small YouTuber owned business instead of a higher end company. Like, it's just, I don't know. I don't really know what else to say about that. Other than I feel like maybe this launch, they were just so pressed to like get the shit out and I don't know. I just, it's weird. So I'm about to go throw both of these on and then I will come back and talk to you guys um, a little bit more about them and show you more in depth like what the hell I'm talking about. All right, so here are the leggings on. What I was talking about, I just got done eating by the way, so don't judge me. So I also noticed something the other day that I just wanted to address, but there's like two girls on Instagram that I never knew were with Alpha Lee. I clicked on one of them because she looked to be a little bigger because I wear large in all of their clothes, which honestly, even at my leanest, I was still wearing a large. I started following this girl because she had like a really big butt and I was like, oh, that's probably a little more relatable for me. So one, I'm always shocked that every company, not just Alpha Elite, they always say that the models are wearing extra small or small. There's one girl in particular who's in their sizing videos that I'm like, girl, you are not a small, like, we do not need you to tell us that you're a small. Like, we would rather people tell us what size they really are, and I feel like these girls are like, constricting themselves to get into the small, and I'm like, maybe they like them that way. Maybe they like to be compressed like that at the gym, but I don't like, I'm sorry, but I don't wanna to go to the gym and look like a walking yeast infection, to be honest, and that's not me throwing shade at any of them, but I order a large because I want to be able to breathe. I want every part of me to be able to breathe at the gym. So, these leggings, I noticed, like, if you look, 
See, that's like, there's something weird going on here. So this part right here, most of the models on their Instagram, I have noticed this is literally cutting like right here on their leggings. And I don't know if you guys have seen this, but the, these two girls that I found the other day, they have bigger butt. Is this supposed to be up here? And I'm just in the wrong area? Like, I don't know what's happening. So, we don't see. The bra is <laughs> like all up in there for me to do that. Second of all, my vagina hurts. Um, so these were literally in this girl's picture. This was like that. Making, I mean, obviously it makes your donk look real big, but like how stupid does this look in the front? Like, okay. The not hiked up side, which this is how I wear them. And then here's how that girl was wearing them. I don't, I just don't know how, if I'm wearing it in the wrong spot, like is that how it's supposed to be? Someone help me. Because this area is not, I don't want to walk into the gym like, hey guys, that's not what it is. So I'm going to pull this down because this hurts. <laughs> this is the most real ass fucking trial haul ever. This is where I wear them, right? I do feel like this band is different than usual. The V2 version that I purchased was the best version ever, so I don't know what they've done. I don't know what they've done to this, but whoever decided on this must have been itty bitty AF. It's not the business. It, everything needs to just go back to that version and we will all be happy. This color is banging. Like, this color is banging. Okay, so the other thing that I wanted to point out is that when I was in my bedroom trying these on when I first got them, um, the shits was see-through. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can see the tag. You can see the tag through these leggings. Um, you might be able to read it. Like, <laughs> you can just, I mean, they're see-through. Like, bruh. Damn! That's see-through. Squat test, not approved. These are definitely not squat approved. I don't know. Honestly, no shame in my game. Like, it, it, I don't care. But like, $59 cares. Basically, $59 later, we have some not squat proof leggings. We have some leggings that have something weird going on with the waistband. Um, but we have a bomb ass color and I love me some green. Um, I don't know why. I just think this color is beautiful. I just wish that there would have been a little bit more like attention to detail. And honestly, if this color needed to be procrastinated longer for it to come correct, I don't think anyone would have been mad. I just, I really haven't heard anyone complaining about it. I haven't seen any reviews on YouTube. Actually, when I get off, when I get done with this video, I'm gonna go look and see if anyone else had issues because y'all, y'all, the launch was so janky. Um, let's just spill the tea on this right now. Okay, so I'm gonna just read you the messages because I'm gonna tell you what happened. I just want you to know from the beginning, they came back and they fixed they fixed what was going on with my stuff. But like, if you guys saw the Instagram feed, I mean, like people were going in, like people were like, F you, blah, 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 blah. And like, I tried not to be petty, but like at the end of the day, these are people who are spending their time and their money. I know I got real frustrated because the lady in customer service had me fucked all the way up. Like I, mm -mm, girl. And um, <laughs> I know I said some petty stuff on Instagram, which I do feel bad about and I did apologize for, but like I understand people go to work or people are frustrated. Things don't always happen the right way. But there's a right way to handle it and I don't feel like this girl handled it correctly. And then when I commented something about it on Instagram, other people saying things about her being a bad customer service rep. Like one girl said, if she is in charge of their customer service team, we're all in trouble. So that's how bad like her attitude was. It didn't just happen to me. Um, and that's when I realized I was like, oh, they're gonna have to address this. This 
bra, the leggings that I'm wearing both were the size large like I ordered, but the red pair that I had ordered were freaking extra small. The website had changed them from a large to an extra small on their own, and I had already paid and already received my confirmation. So I looked through the comments, like I took the time to read almost every comment on this Instagram page, which there was like 200, just to see what other people were doing because I didn't want to be like that one crazy person that was like, my shit's messed up, whatever. So once I saw that people were emailing customer service um, and like reordering the items that they wanted, I was like, all right, so my first step must be to email customer service. So that's what I did. So like, this is me as a person responding, but like after I looked at it, I was like, okay, maybe she thought that I like came off like rude from the beginning, but like, I was just trying to be like point blank period like what I expected because I knew that like a thousand people were probably messaging and at $59 is a lot of money. If it wasn't a lot of money to me, like I sure as hell wouldn't be buying athletic clothing from some random YouTuber, like some rando on the internet. Like I'd probably be buying like the highest, like Gucci and shit, you know? So, um, that like, I can understand, I guess if she took that the wrong way, to get the responses that I got. And then I received a response from Brenda and she said, we are unable to modify an order once it has been placed. The only thing that we can do is cancel the order altogether. If it is not yet processed for shipment, please let us know what you would, if you would like to do so. So when I received that, I was like, are you really just trying to get me to cancel my whole order? Like you're not even gonna try to help the customer out before you just start handing out answers like that. You all need to like think of a way to fix it that is going to help the customer and you, not just you. Like basically I felt that that message was them saying like, well, like too bad, we will cancel your order. If you're lucky, you can get back on the website and order and pray to God that your sizes are there. But like at the end of the day, we're just here to sell shit. That's how I took that message because I just feel like from a customer service standpoint, that was not the responses that should have been coming out. Not that it was mean, but like it wasn't like thought through. Like the fact that your customers are taking time out of their day, setting alarm clocks to wake up at ungodly times of the day just to order from your website and give you their money. Not only that, but the fact that like I know me for a fact, I'm at work. And I'm taking time out of my work day, like risking getting in trouble at work just so that I can get the things that I want. And like, to me, I'm like, y'all didn't take that into consideration at all when, when Brenda sent this message. So that, that, that pissed me off. So then the next thing that I said was, Brenda, thank you for a quick response. So I am unable to just take the red leggings off of my order and expected to cancel the whole thing because of mistake of a mistake on your end, question mark. I want to clarify prior to making my choice because I really thought she messed up by saying that. I thought it was a mistake. So Brenda responded back and said, so we understand that Brenda did not make the mistake. Brenda, we know you didn't make the mistake, homegirl. Like, we know, everyone knows, we know that it was the website. I am not ignorant, I know that it was the website. I was simply asking for you to verify that I really had to cancel my order. Like, that's all it was. And I honestly was like, as a customer service rep, if there's other options available to the customer, you should be telling the customer you have blank, blank, and blank choice to make. You can either do this, you can do this, or you can do this. Please let me know which one you would like. Not just, hey, cancel your order. So I felt like this response was the response that really like caused me to like take it there. You're not gonna tell me that you didn't make the mistake like I can't figure that out already. And two, um, the fact that you brought up that you were trying to help everyone else and that made me feel like I like I was just taking too much time out of your day that I was causing an issue just by asking you to clarify that this is your job. So if it's annoying you that you're having to help everyone else, then like you need to pick a different profession 
to be honest, because I know that that email was sent like to be snippy, you know? Under I understand that you did not make the mistake. The paying customer, me, did not make the mistake either. The system did. I would appreciate if you would pass that message on to the owner that customer service is just that. And this whole thing is severely unprofessional, including your previous message. I am the one spending the money to buy the product and it appears that I am the only one attempting to fix the issue and still receive the products that I, that I want. I, is there no return option of the red leggings? If there is, could you please explain the return policy? It would be greatly appreciated. I would like to consider that option prior to making my final decision. At the end of the day, I wanted this outfit. Like I wanted this outfit and you weren't trying to help me to receive this outfit. You were just like, cancel, cancel, you're canceled, you're canceled, you're canceled. Not the way you should have handled this at all. Like clearly Brenda did not handle, she did not handle situations under pressure very well. Brenda needs a new career. Like let me find you a career counselor, Brenda, because this ain't it. Don't ever try to flip the blame on the customer. Rule number one. So I ended up not receiving a response back and at that point I was like, really I wasn't even waiting for a response back. I just was like, I'm about to send this email and tell this girl about herself and I'm probably not gonna get a response back. I'm gonna get these leggings. I'm gonna just literally not even open the package with the red ones and have to go straight to the post office and freaking return them. Like my deal about the post office is like, my post office situation is like real crappy. So that would have just been like an added thing. I'm like, here I am spending $160 and I'm having to pay for shipping to get this back to you. Like that's the type of thing I was thinking about like cause it's the holidays. Like we gotta be saving money for Christmas presents y'all. Like I don't have time. So that was my biggest concern. I didn't expect an email back and I later that night looked and well I saw an email come through saying that my order had shipped and the red leggings weren't on the order. I was like okay let's not, let's not get out of control Tay. Like check your email, figure out what's going on. Like I was just happy. <laughs> I ended up getting a response from Derek uh, and basically he was so nice and kind of made me feel a lot better about this because at this point I was like, I'm never ordering from this company again because I'm that time. I was in a place where I really thought like when I get these, I'm not going to keep them. I'm just gonna give them back even though I'm obsessed with this color. And I just don't feel like it would be right for me to keep them because like Brenda just left a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> I hope that if I ever go to any Alpha Elite function that Brenda is not there. But no, I just like, it was just kind of stressful. <laughs> it was stressful. Um, like I, I've said it in previous videos, like when everything's fine with me until you mess with my money and my happiness. And so like to me, this situation was really messing with my money and like I'm out here buying stuff that I don't have to buy. I want to buy these things because one, like I do like them and two, I wanna support Christian and his company. I think he has goals in a lot of aspects of life. So like, I don't know. I just, it really rubbed me the wrong way. And then I was like, I think like this is definitely a learning experience and an eye opener for the company and for Christian and his team and everybody like things like this have to happen for a company to get better. So I'm hoping that it like really helps. And obviously like they hear our complaints about like the leggings being messed up, like the crotch situation and all of that. They hear all of that and they take the time to fix it. I mean, I understand like a, running a business is, is hard and I give them props for that. And I hope that this experience like really helps them out because what? It was stressful for me. So I can only imagine how much it was stressful on their end. But this is gonna conclude this video. I know it's like heck along. So I appreciate you guys so much for taking the time. If you've made it this far, like you're a real one. I want to start doing, I'm just out here with a lopsided boob. Um, I want to start doing videos over products like this because I order so much gym clothing that I never review ever. And I want to start putting out videos for girls that are regular size, like 
on YouTube, I feel like there's like plus size and I feel like girls who even say that they're regular size are like smalls and extra smalls and on occasion, I did find one girl who's a medium. Like I'm a medium large and I just don't feel like there's really many people on YouTube who cater to that nor are there Instagram people who cater to that because either everyone's like super fit or everyone is plus size. There's no really in between. So I wanna produce content that's gonna help those girls out, maybe some other people. I'm just trying to put out content that's really beneficial to you guys. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I will be back with more, more stuff because I know that Black Friday's coming up. Make sure if you haven't already that you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.